Hey, hey, Mr. Abby here again. Just want to give you a real quick video um, over some of the spamming problems, some of the junk mail problems we've been having at the middle school. Um, I just want to show you how to kind of protect yourself from that sort of stuff. Um, so first of all, if you get spam messages, you, you probably usually won't get it just from straight up tweets. Um, obviously, if you do, you can easily block someone. So if I needed, if I needed to block this person, I could just click on them and then actually click this little icon and click block. Um, so that's one way to do it. But usually when you get spam messages, you actually get it from direct messages. So let me go up here and show you. Um, if you click your little gear and you click direct messages, you'll see all the messages that, that you have gotten from people. So for instance, here's one of the spam things. Um, and it's from Mrs. Gingrich and it's, it's not her fault. Um, it's just something that's going around the middle school and people that have Twitter at the middle school. Um, but you'll see kind of this message says, Yo, he has been making up some nasty rumors about you. And your first instinct is to click and say, Oh, geez, what are these rumors? How do I delete this stuff? That is spam. Here are some of the other messages that have been going around too. Um, so anytime you see a direct message about um, a picture or a video or something that's embarrassing or someone that's spreading rumors about you. It's spam. So to get rid of that spam or that junk mail, it's real easy. You just click here and you'll see if you kind of roll your mouse over the message, you'll see a little trash can pop up. Just click that trash can to delete the message. You don't have to open up this link or anything. You will notice though if you open up the link, you're going to see, aha, look at this. So some websites or some internet browsers will actually warn you, suspected phishing site. So I'm definitely going to click close on that. Just simply click delete, delete message, it's gone, perfect. Um, you can also, if you want to, if you have problems with it, it's okay to change your password. So I'm going to click on my gear and I'm going to click settings. Settings, come on, come on internet. Let's try it again. There we go. If you click over here to the left, it says password. And you can automatically change your password. It's real quick, it's real easy, it's painless. You just type in your current password and your new password that you want. Then retype in your new password and click save. Simple, easy, painless. Um, so that's just another way to kind of protect yourself um, in addition to blocking people or protecting your Twitter account. Um, if you're interested in learning how to block people or how to protect your Twitter account so only certain people can see your tweets, head over to my, and let's actually do this right now. We'll go to google.com. We'll search Mr. Abby Social Studies. Look at that. First one. You'll click videos and tutorials and you will see you will see that I have of course we've seen these in class a set of digital footprint videos um, but down here this shows you how to protect your digital footprint so how to block and how to protect your account. If you have any questions let me know.